Then I added in Lightning Brush um, on Color Dodge. Uh, once again, just the whole keeping to the electrical, short circuiting kind of look. Added another one over here. Both these are in Color Dodge. I'm not sure if they're the same color though, so yeah. Uh, C4D, once more, gone with that, you know, lightning y electrical stuff over here and over here. Another C4D, uh, going with how bright this thing is. You know, it's bright. It's taking him out from the background. Uh, so it's not as prominent. It's he looks like more like he's walking towards you than he's in the background, which is good for creating depth. Now, but I didn't really like how bright this was, so I threw in a C40 clipping mask again. Now I just you know I erased bits all around. I just liked okay I want this so it's not as bright over here. So I added in a clipping mask. Um, now you can still see bits of it. And it's still, but it's a bit lighter, and that's all that I'm worried about. I want it. I did. I wanted to take out little bits, but not in such a ridiculous pattern that it, you know, it made it looked like you were the one who did it. You know, so throwing clipping mask or you know stuff like that, so it gets rid of it in a way that doesn't seem like it's it's uh, what you did. It seems natural. Gradient map. Uh, it's like a peachy, peachy red. I don't. I don't know how to describe that color. Can anyone describe this color right here? Mahog I don't know. I really don't. But it's that color to yellow. Um, and I said to linear light at 17 opacity. Now, the reason I set it to 17, and this is what I do with a lot of my grading maps, is I set it down really, 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 really low, and then I start fiddling with it. I'm like, okay, do I like this? Nah, it needs a little bit more color. All right, how about this? Eh, okay, that's a bit too much color. And then, you know, just go back and forth, back and forth, try to find out a good balance. Now, like, if I set this all the way up to 100, that's really overpowering, and it looks terrible and disgusting, and you want to punch people in the face because you saw it. But when you set it down, oh, it gives a nice little yellow tinge to it. That's nice. You know, and then I did a filter, uh, applied image, filter, uh, where is it? Brush strokes? Brush strokes? Yeah, yeah, brush strokes spatter, and then I erased bits I didn't like, so I erased all around the focal, and I kind of kept it towards the background. And then to tone down that ridiculous yellow that doesn't really have a place here, I use a black and white gradient map. I set it to normal, and I just lowered the opacity. Uh, black and white gradient maps on normal with lowered opacity start desaturating um, the colors in your tag, which is good for you know wartime. Uh, a darker piece, you know, horror kind of stuff. Horror, not horror. And it's good for stuff like that and well, any piece really if you don't if you don't like all the contrast, you know. You can either use this is before I started using like exposure and levels and you know, all that good stuff. Um just gradient maps. You can do pretty much anything you want with gradient maps. This is a default gradient map. It's the orange, yellow, orange. Set it to soft light seven. Once again, the reason it's at 7 is because it adds a little bit of a tinge to it. Like, yeah, okay, you can kind of see it got a little bit brighter, a little bit more yellow. And that's that's without doing, oh my god, that's ridiculous, please stop. So that's pretty much what I do with a lot of my gradient maps is if I like the color, I'll keep it, but I'll lower the opacity so it's not as overpowering. Sometimes I'll lower the fill if I like the opacity, and I just don't want as much of it, lower the fill. If, I like, if you like... The color that it gives, but you don't like how bright it is, you lower opacity. And you can do this with any gradient map. You can keep the gradient map on hard light, on vivid light, whatever you want, but you know, tone it down so it's not as overpowering. This one was a default orange to green to or purple to green to orange, sorry. Uh set to lighter color at twenty eight opacity. Now you can see the difference in this to this, or well this to this, there's more purples in the shadows, which I liked, and it kind of flowed well, and that's better than, you know, the 100 opacity, that's really purple, please stop, my eyes hurt, um, this looks terrible, and then that doesn't, and that's why I did that, well, I mean, it's pretty obvious why I did that, then I did some sharpening, um, sharpening, yeah, sharpening, um, applied image, filter, sharpen, sharpen, 
I don't like going with the whole fancy kind of smart sharpen, blah, 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 blah. Uh, well, I used to do a lot of sharp, smart sharpening, whereas, you know, sharpen edges, sharpen this, sharpen this, a little bit of blur here, and blah, 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 blah. And you can make anything look like you used a shit ton of topaz. This one was an applied image blur. I actually did filter blur, blur, instead of the Gaussian blur I normally do. Um, yeah, that was pretty much that. Um, over here, I kind of got a little pissed off with, well, not pissed off, but this part, I was like, huh, this should be better right there. And so, hard round brush, clipping mask, and just kind of moved it. Oh, hold on. No, well, boom, boom. You can see the difference, it kind of shifted up and to the left. Not too noticeable, but it helps fix the little mistakes that you like, you, you know, don't like. Then, boom, filled this with purple, new layer, purple, light in, lighten on 17 opacity. This is, I like, I like the purple shadows and stuff, so I added that and give it more depth kind of feel to it. Um, I think I'm running out of time almost, actually. Then I added the light source. What I do for light sources, don't just like, you know, hold on, let me make a new layer so I can show you guys. Don't like, uh, okay, because that's really overpowering, and I don't like that at all. Well, I personally don't like it, so that's why I don't do it. Um, you see how you can see the, the tip of the brush? Yeah, that's not, that's not good. Um, what, what you can do, though, is, see how I'm like far off the canvas? You can still brush, and you can still see the effects on the actual canvas itself without having to brush onto the canvas. And that just makes it so that you get a, you know, it's a light source that isn't blatant and in your face, it's kind of often implied, which that's the kind of lighting that I like. I mean, you don't, by all means, you don't have to do what I do, and I'm just saying. And then here, you can't really see it, but I don't feel like going in and showing you exactly what it is. On, rent, on render lens flare, you get the little the flare of the lens derp from the light source you get the light source and you get the little flare at the bottom uh, I like that so I copied it using soft round brushes and stuff or not soft round the marquee tool elliptical mar marquee tool and hard round brushes I liked it so I was like okay I want to copy that blah uh, I didn't realize at the time that I could just you know do the lens flare and then erase the the flare bit and then just keep the lens bit that sounded stupid. I don't care. Anyway, that's pretty much that tag in a nutshell. Um, I my f I had the 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 good fortune of labeling this before um, I did this, so I was able to know exactly what I did. Although it wouldn't be too hard to tell with this tag. Regardless, uh, you know, tell me what you learned. If you didn't learn anything, tell me that too. I guess to be honest, I don't care. Um, you know, rate, comment, subscribe. I guess, I mean, everyone's doing that these days, right? That That is right, right? Everyone's doing the rate, comment, subscribe, because I like views. Um, I really don't care what you guys do. You can do whatever you want. Uh, I just hope you guys learn something. That's all That's all I care about. If you guys learn something from my interactive PSDs, I'm doing air quotes, but you guys can't tell, um, then by all means, go for it. I don't care. You know, good, good job on you. Um... But yeah, just tell me if you learned anything, you know, if you if you learn lightning brushes that can be used for stuff like that instead of, you know, other stuff. If you learn clipping masks on C4Ds, what have you, just go ahead and tell me. Um, you don't have to, by all means, you can do what you want, just saying. Anyway, this is Ferbs signing off. Thank you guys again for listening and watching.